Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the previous year questions of research aptitude. So question number one. Bibliography given in a research report is used to. So what is mean by bibliography? Bibliography is nothing but the reference, the research reference. Okay, that we have used in thesis. Okay. So it helps those interested in further research and studying the problem from another angle. Okay. Question number two. Which comes first, theory or research? So the correct option is it def depends on your point of view because we cannot simply say that theory came first or research came first. So based on the theory and research, we can able to conclude and it depends on the researcher point of view. Okay. Next. We review the relevant literature to know why we are reviewing the literature, why we are taking the survey, literature survey. See the options, all the option. What is already known about the topic? While we are taking the some topic means, so what is already known and what the concepts, techniques that we have applied and who are all the key contributors. So all those things are important while we are reviewing the literature. So all the above. Next, a detective theory is one that it involves testing an explicitly defined hypothesis. Okay. Next, which of the following is not a type of research question? Hypothesis. So, hypothesis is not a type of research question because See those three options, predicting an outcome, evaluating a phenomenon and developing good practice. So these are all the type of research question that we can ask. But hypothesis is not a type of research question. Okay. What does sampling cases means? What is the meaning of sampling case? Sampling case is nothing but sampling the people newspaper, television program, etc. So these are all the sampling case. Okay. With using this, we are taking the sampling. Okay. It is uh, used for research. Doing research. That is called a sampling case. Next. The core ingredients of a dissertation are. So while making a thesis, while you are writing the thesis, so these things are to be covered. So that is introduction. Literature review, research methods, results, discussion and conclusion. So option D. Question number 8. Which of the following is not a data collection method? So data collection is nothing but unstructured interviewing, questionnaires and participant observation. So these are all the type of data collection. Whereas the research question is not a data collection method. Based on the data collection, we can arise the research question. So the correct option is option A. Next, the research antagonistic to ex post facto researches. Option A, experimental studies. Next, an example of scientific knowledge is. Scientific knowledge is nothing but laboratory and field experiments and not the other social or religious related knowledge. Okay. Next, the process not needed in experimental research is reference collection. Okay, so the process such as controlling observation, manipulation and replication is needed while doing the experimental research. Whereas the reference collection is not needed during experimental research. Next, below are given some probable Characteristics of an ineffective teacher. Which of them is most likely to be characterized in ineffective teacher? Okay. So which is not the ineffective teacher characteristic? Which are the ineffective teacher characteristic? Okay. It emphasizes upon the control of the immediate situation. Okay. Ba? Option C. Next, the per capita income of India from 1950 to 1990 is four times. The study is what type of research is? 
okay from the year 1950 to 1990 the per capita income has been increased into four times okay it is a gradual increase okay so that is longitudinal study the gradual increase of some variable is longitudinal study next 9 years old children are taller than 7 years old ones it is an example of so while we are comparing with uh, 7 years old children 9 years old children are taller so it is the example of cross sectional studies option b next attributes of objects events or things which can be measured are called as variables option c next in order to augment the accuracy of the study of a researcher so to improve the accuracy of a study the researcher should should be honest and unbiased should increase the size of the sample and should keep the variance high okay so the researcher to is to be followed the following conditions okay so the research should be honest and it should not be the biased one should increase the size of the sample to improve the efficiency of the research and should keep the variance high so the correct option is all the above next hypothesis cannot be stated in hypothesis cannot be stated in option c general terms next all cause non sampling errors except inadequate sample if the sample is inadequate it comes under sampling error whereas faulty tool of measurement defect in data collection and non response these are all comes under non sampling errors okay va next formulation of hypothesis may not be necessary in historical studies okay historical studies is nothing but we are studying about the past events okay for that there is no need of hypothesis formulation okay va whereas the survey studies experimental and normative studies are all hypothesis is essential then who is regarded as the father of scientific social surveys booth for doing external criticism for establishing the authenticity of uh, data a researcher must verify the researcher must verify the following things that is the signature and handwriting of the author the paper and ink used in that period which is under study and the style of prose writing of that period okay these are all the things to be followed option d next survey study aims at so what is the use of survey literature survey knowing facts about the existing situation so what are all the existing techniques that they have applied like that and comparing the present status with the existing one with the standard norms and criticizing the existing situation criticizing it not is nothing but what are all the li limitation of existing situation so these three things okay the question number 23 which of the following is not the characteristics of a researcher okay see the option d he is not versatile in his interest and even in his native abilities okay va see the other option so these are all the characteristics of a researcher whereas option d is not okay the characteristics of a researcher are he is industrious and persistent and he is a specialist into that particular topic and he should be an objective okay next the validity and reliability of a research will be stake at will be at stake in the sense the validity and reliability will be minimized at which of the situation see the options the incident was reported after a long period of time from that of its occurrence for example if a researcher doing a research for a past more than 5 years more than 4 or 5 years means 
the validity will be diminished so it is a invalid research why because if you are taking uh, uh, your research for the past more than 4 or 5 years means it will be an invalid one okay then the author who is the source of information is biased so biasing completely the validity or accuracy will be minimized and he is an dishonest person means it is also minimized while doing research there will be uh, some dishonesty means the validity and reliability will be minimized and also he is not competent enough to draw logical conclusion that is also the main condition uh, where the validity and reliability of the research will be at stake so the all the above next the researcher wants to study the future of the some party okay congress party in india so what tool he should apply for this type of study questionnaire we can ask the questions to the people using questionnaire we can able to apply for this type of research next seeing a very big turnout it was reported that jd will win the election the conclusion was based on so the election has held okay so the voting count has started and seeing the very big turnout so the jd has uh, one maximum number of seats means so what is the type of sampling is cluster sampling option b okay cluster sampling next a researcher divides his population into certain groups and fixes the size of the sample from each group it is called as for example there is a village in that village there are 1000 people from that 1000 people a researcher categorizes into male and female okay va male and female from that male and female he chooses only 10 male and 10 females okay he is categorizing into certain group and fixing the size of the sample which is 10 male or 10 female so what type of sample it is it is a quota sample okay next which technique is generally followed when the population is finite finite means what countable if the sample cases is minimum so the systematic sampling technique has been applied when the population is finite okay well, correct option is option c next which of the following is a non-probability sampling quota sampling and purposive sampling okay well. so for that we we should know about what is probability sampling and what is not probability sampling here uh, simple random sampling stratified sampling systematic sampling are comes under probability sampling whereas purposive sampling cluster sampling quota sampling comes under non probability sampling okay wow. so the correct option is option d that is both a and c next a researcher selects a probability sample of 100 out of the total population. It is a random sampling. Okay. In previous case, quota sample is nothing but from the total population, he is categorizing as male and female. From that, he is fixing the fixed size. He is fixing some size such as 10 male or 10 female, which means that is called as quota sampling. Whereas here in this case, from the total population, he is selecting randomly 100 people. They may be male or female. Okay, that doesn't matter. So, he randomly choosing the 100 people is random sampling. Okay, but option B. Next, question number 31. Service rule for the college and university teachers 
should be in line with bureaucrats and executives do you support the statement yes basically but with major variation in many cases okay next the most important task in teaching is directing students in development of experience okay it is not like uh, making the monthly test or maintaining the record and making the students to complete the assignment like that teaching is nothing but directing the students in developing of experience next a good hypothesis should be the good hypothesis should be formulated in such a way that it can be tested by the data it precise specific and consistent with most known facts and it should be of limited scope and should not have global significance so all the above okay ba next which of the following statement is not true in the context of participatory research its sole purpose is production of knowledge okay va so while the participatory research only the knowledge production does not comes under participatory research next a researcher is interested in studying the prospect of a particular political party in an urban area same that we have discussed previous okay so he is interested to uh, what enquire about the particular party okay va so what tool should prefer for the study questionnaire question number 36 ethical norms in research does not involve guidelines for thesis format whereas copyright patenting policy and data sharing policy should have ethical norms whereas this is format does not have any ethical norms okay then a researcher intends to explore the effect of possible factors for the organization of effective midday meal intervention which research method will be most appropriate for this study okay so nowadays uh, for a, every government school they are providing midday meal okay so for the effective midday meal intervention a researcher is applying some method for the possible factor effect so what method he should use he sh- he can use ex post facto method next which of the following is an initial mandatory requirement for pursuing research okay what is the initial requirement formulating the research question why what who how like that so formulating the research question is the basic requirement for pursuing the research next the format of thesis is writing is the same as in research dissertation so both are same thesis writing research dissertation are similar okay so the format is same for both question number 40 the principal of a school conducts an interview session of a teachers and students with a view to explore the possibility of their enhanced participation in school programs so what type of research it is action research okay why because here the principal conducts an interview session for teachers and student okay so whenever the research is conducting immediately that is called as action research in doing action research what are the use and usual sequence of steps plan act observe and reflect okay ba next very important one which sequence of research steps is logical in the list of given below see those option first the uh, first step of research is what problem formulation after formulating the problem we should make the hypothesis followed by development of research design collection of data 
data analysis and formulation of generalization and conclusion okay next so in left side they have given the research method in right side they have given the data collection tool you should match the following okay for experimental method you should follow standardized test for ex post facto method we should use typical characteristic test for this descriptive survey method we should use questionnaire for historical method we should use using primary and secondary sources so the correct option is option b that is 3 4 2 1 1 then okay wait 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 question number 44 the issue of research ethics may be considered pertinent at which stage of research okay where the research ethics should be followed at which stage of research at the stage of data collection and interpretation research ethics is followed so during uh, data collection and interpretation it should not be biased and it should not be in, uh, inaccurate so these condition to be followed while doing data collection and interpretation next last question in the session that is in which of the following reporting format is formally prescribed during the conference workshop seminar symposium there is no reporting format is needed whereas doctoral level thesis that is in dissertation reporting format is needed okay we are making the report no hard copy okay so the correct option is option a doctoral level thesis so still some more questions to be discussed so this is a part 1 the part 2 will be posted on next video okay next section so stay tuned all the best for your ugc net exam be thorough with that what are the questions that uh, we have discussed here all the best kindly like share and subscribe my youtube channel